Hi, my name is Vincent Montgomery and I'm an artist. When I got into art, I had no um, concept, uh, idea, I had no thought that there was anything to do with my mental health. It was just because I had an urge to produce something. But as time goes on, you start to realise that um, you're going deep within yourself um, and you, you start to release things and, uh, and discover things. Uh, things present themselves to you that you you didn't know they were there and you had no idea where they came from um, but art is a safe place to do that where you can explore this stuff so basically that's that's what I've done and the more you do it the, the deeper you go into yourself um, where that place that the the arty bit of you is um, the more other stuff comes up with it uh, and you can you don't have to confront it straight away. That's the, that's the beauty about art is it's safe because if you find something that you, you, you comes up that you not really want to um, deal with at the time, you can always back away from it, but you know it's there and then you can, you can pull it back out again and maybe explore it a little bit more uh, and the feelings and the thoughts and the, and the situations that it arises to, almost like listening to a record. Um, when it comes out, it triggers a memory of a certain time and a certain place. And, and you can express that through making a piece of art. Uh, you, can, you can turn that into like a positive, a positive thing. And when, that's, when you've worked that one through, then it allows other stuff to come out. That stuff that's, um, that may have nothing to do with um, issues with mental health. Um, but they're a way of expressing yourself and some beautiful stuff comes out. Um, but you, it's a mix and mash. Sometimes you'll get stuff that's, that, that needs to be dealt with and it's old and it's, it's jammed in there. And, and other stuff comes out that's really beautiful. So it's such, a, um, it's such a variety of stuff that comes out. It's, it's just a wonderful thing to play with. Anyway, I've done three or four bits of art. And what I'd like to do is just to give you a brief explanation of what they're about. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy looking at them. I produced this piece for a, to enter into a competition and it was about travel. And for me, the only time I ever felt free is when I had a lucid dream. I traveled within my dream. You become fully aware that you're, that you're in a dream as if you're in your waking state, but there are no restrictions there. Um, and for me up until then, I had never experienced, I don't believe what freedom was. Um, I don't think there's any such thing as a, a perfect child and I don't think it exists. I think we all have our problems and we all have things we have to deal with and they can affect us right through our life. This piece for me was all about making the immaterial um, the most important part of the piece. So what is not there is the most important part. What is there is only there to frame what isn't. It creates a, a, the framework as all the immaterial to exist. That shape is, is what's called Fibonacci's golden section. It's a, it's a harmonic proportions and nature is created on that. You, I, anything in this world is created on this, this wonderful harmonic proportion. It is how creation expresses itself in the physical world. The butterfly is, um, for me, always represents the spirit. Um, so because it's it's um, it's transformational, and when you discover Fibonacci's golden section for yourself and our connection to nature, then then you cannot help but evolve with that. I did this one again for a competition, and the category was food. When we look at our body, we don't like to see it as purely food. We believe that our body is us. When in actual fact, it isn't us. The body is just an accumulation of energy, an accumulation of food, basically, the food we eat. The, the sun gives off energy that's trapped via photosynthesis on the earth, turned into matter, which is plants. We eat the plants and we also eat the, the animals that eat the vegetables and turn them into meat. So we're just an accumulation of, of the sun's energies. So I try to express that here um, as much as I could with the, the, the muscle fiber turning into spaghetti and, and the, the, the fork actually scooping up that spaghetti ready to be eaten.
Um, and one day the body will go back and, and be recycled to be food for somebody else. So, um, so that's what this piece is all about. This piece started its life as a, the, the brush was a piece of um, runner off of a pallet and the darker wood was um, some old flooring that I was given that was being ripped up out of a house. In its previous life it was purely functional and it had no real aesthetic beauty. Um, you can see the scars and, and defects in it um, uh, and, and blemishes from its previous existence. It's a complete transformation from some, some a functional piece that, that was really nondescript to look at to a piece that's completely unfunctional but I think is really beautiful to look at and its previous existence is still there to be seen in the scars, the blemishes and the defects. <laughs>